This is going over getting started with Sublime. After you installed it and save that file, file, save as, pick a location. And give that file a name. Index.html is a great name when you're starting out. You create your first web page. Let's go under view and look under syntax. Make sure HTML is selected. This will make things a lot easier. Start typing in HTML and press the tab key to get the skeleton of the web page. To see this page bigger, just highlight all the text to see the HTML bigger and press the command key or control key on a PC and the plus sign. To make it smaller, command key on a Mac or Control key on a PC, negative sign. Save the file, Command S. To see this file for the first time, well, let's give it some content like my file and hello to my file, period. Save it. To see it for the first time, right click, open in browser. And somewhere on your computer, if you're not recording a lesson, is this file. Now the next step is to live preview with a um, press of some shortcuts on the keyboard. This way you could quickly develop. Go under Tools, Command Palette. And the first one you want to install is Install Package Control. Just make life a lot easier. Successfully installed. Use Command Palette and type in Install Package to get started. Not bad. We're almost there. Next, go back under Tools, Command Palette, Install, and Install Package. And then, type in Browser, Refresh. You see it right there. Click on it. It's installed. You can read a little bit more about it. And what's very important is this Super plus Shift plus R. Super is the command on Mac or Control key on PC, and then Shift plus R. So on a Mac, Command, Shift, R to use this, and on PC, Control, Shift, R to use this. I'm going to try this out. Right click, open in browser, and here's my file in a browser. I'll add a few more trailing dots. Save it, Command, Shift, R, and there's the trailing dots. Now, to make this a little neater to see for this demo, let me drag this window over here and drag this one in. So we get a side-by-side -side comparison of what's going on. As you work, maybe you want to change this to, not hello to this file, but hello world. Exclamation point, save, and then command shift R. And there's the change. So this is how you'll update things. If I want to exclamation points to shout bigger than command shift R even without saving. Goodbye for now. And command shift R it. Goodbye everyone.